special guest, a guest that I've known since middle school. Ben Bowling here. What? Oh, 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 shit. oh shit. What's cracking? Wait, did I come in too early? Perfectly fine. Bro, come on. But anyway, I'd like to thank you first and foremost for the collaboration video. Ate some foods, drank some beers. The sun doesn't wait for anyone. Mm -mm. Something that would be uh, very strange mm -hmm. for a lot of people to learn mm -hmm. about beer drink over here. And also, thank you for having me no again, problem, bro. No problem, man. Something that might be funny for us to learn. Intriguing. Sir, you have seen a UFO, an unidentified flying object. Absolutely. You want to get closer? Let's yeah, get up, yeah, let's let's get up get close. And, let's get up close and uh, personal on this one real quick. I'll move it around. Like I said, I'm going to edit it, so it's all good. Yeah, keep that um, part in, too. Yeah, bet. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you're asking about, hold on, not yet. Because I may end up like, doing that move. All right, bet. The UFO, huh? Mm, what do yeah. You want, what do you want to know about it, man? Now, uh, we were talking earlier, and you said specifically, Ben, I remember vividly the first time I ever saw a UFO. And not only did I see it, but I reported it. To MUFON. Correct. Tell March, the people about MUFON. March 8, 2009. And I, I even put that in a rhyme. Mm. That's why I always remember it. Like March 8, 2009, saw an unidentified object in the sky and that changed me. March 8, 2009, I was in Covington, Georgia. Mm. My brother was on the back of his truck mm. with the dog out. He was looking up and he saw a bright light. He thought it was a North Star or something like that. He called me up. He was like, hey, man, just come through here. Came through. I looked at it. I'm like, eh, is that the North Star? Is it whatever? And then I start seeing these things come out of it and being like pretty much coming out yeah. and being pulled in from every uh. different angle. And when I saw it, I'm just like, yo, what the hell is that all about? And we sat there and looked at it for a minute, mm. saw them kept doing those moves. And then after that, mm. we literally was watching it and we saw it, an uh, airplane going like on the, I'll put it this way, the thing was here. Mm -hmm. A plane was going in the direction. As soon as, as the closer it got, we saw the thing get smaller and smaller, ah. zoomed out until it disappeared. After it disappeared, it may have been 30 seconds, maybe even up to a minute. Yeah. After the plane went past where the path of where it was, oh. it shot right back down at the exact same fucking location. So it, it just, it, it, it just it moved. Yeah, it, 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 was like, it was like it was here and it went outward. It just sort of... Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you believe that you have some sort of explanation for this thing? Or what, yeah, like they, if you and your brother try to explain this? I mean, there's really no explanation for the fact that like the unknown. I just looked at it as an unknown thing. Like mm. I always, I'd always believed in UFO. I'd mm. always looked into UFO and all of, but he's one of those people. Mm. He was a retired Atlanta police officer, he, which doesn't really mean anything as far as that. But, he, he was he was a skeptic. I see. He was always super skeptical, and he was one of those people to where had I seen it, mm. and I told him about it, and yeah. he wasn't it wasn't there, he'd have been like, oh, were you drinking? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He would have been saying like all, but just in what the are fact, you beer drink? Mm -hmm. We said the name <laughs> of the show. <laughs> it's definitely nothing that I didn't see, nothing that mm. he didn't see, and that's my whole thing with it. Mm. It's just super like it was just unexplainable and. Ever since that day, he's been on it, looking up reports, like just, yeah. you know, just trying to figure it out. Now, one time for the people, what is MUFON? MUFON, Mutual UFO Network. Mm. And it's a database, and I don't want to call them scientists, but people that dedicate, I don't going to say their lives, but a portion of their lives to the mm. research of unidentified flying objects. Didn't we change the name of that recently? UAP. You, but bet, bet. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it pretty much is the most legit network. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I know exactly. I got to report this thing and you can find it to this day. If you Google March 8, 2009, Covington, Georgia, you will find the report in the database. It's real shit. Like UFOs definitely exist. What do you think though, man? Have you ever seen one? Uh, I mean, like most people, I have seen uh, many things in the sky that I could not conclusively identify. Mm -hmm. So are they not inherently unknown yeah. flying objects? Mm -hmm. Also, additionally, yeah, I've seen some stuff. I think most people have. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you would be surprised if you are watching this video now, if you talk to members of your family, 
mm-hmm. you know, friends, yep. acquaintances, and you ask them, honestly, from a sincere place, did you ever see something weird mm-hmm. up there, yeah. you know, and mm-hmm. what and what happened? And uh, it, you may be astonished, you may be astonished, beer drink friends, uh, mm-hmm. how, how many people will have a story. Mm-hmm. Now, I'll tell you this, mm-hmm. uh, I saw last time one thing that really stood out to me I was up over uh, Western Europe, mm-hmm. and uh, I was I was uh, right around uh, Austria, mm-hmm. uh, Vienna area, you know. Oh. Okay, and now I'm not a big deal. I'm not driving a car or anything. <laughs> you know, that's mm-hmm. expensive there. Uh, I'm walking around, mm-hmm. you know, in a rural area, and I see some of the same shit I saw in Guatemala mm-hmm. years and years ago. Uh, just a just a click of an orb that moves mm-hmm. in a way that math teaches us is impossible yeah. for human-made craft. Mm-hmm. You know. So my first question mm-hmm. is: this atmospheric phenomenon. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Am I looking at the rain weird? Nope. <laughs> or whatever. Nope. Yeah, there's mm-hmm. something up there. Yeah, I, I look at it to where like seeing is believing. Like I've always believed in it. I've always looked into it. Mm-hmm. But it's not the same until you see it yourself. And that's my question is why am I presented? Why am I I'm not chosen? Or maybe. 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 But yeah, it's it's a thing to where like a lot of people believe in them, a lot of people do research on them, but it's not the same until you actually see one for yourself i'm like all about seeing and believing like uh, Mm -hmm. no one can tell me if i see something Mm -hmm. or if i feel something Mm -hmm. that it doesn't exist yeah i don't put my you're not gonna tell me how the fuck i feel (laughs) you know what i'm saying yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. i'm fucking around and find out that Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. question question i think a lot of us watching now are wondering this what's your what's your opinion on the idea of extraterrestrials in general the stuff that you and your brother saw, do you think it is, uh, do you think it is like a drone, man-made? Do you think it is suppressed technology? Do you think, do you think there is a possibility of sentient extraterrestrial life? I look at it as supre- truthfully maybe suppressed technology. Mm. It could be because that's what a lot of people like to say is government. Because I look at it like this, this iPhone 12. Mm. This is the tip of the iceberg as far as what they really have as far as Jeez, things. Jeez, why yeah. are you flexing on me? I'm a, like, I have an <laughs> okay phone. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is your friend officially, folks. Sorry, guys. But <laughs> no, but just, I, I think I don't put it past reality for us to have different life forms walking amongst us here. Mm. That's what I believe, and that's just, just how I feel at times. I think that uh, we're taught and we know what we're allowed to know Mm. if we just went with that Mm -hmm. we would have kind of what we do have we would have just a huge population of the exact same people without people like actually going into their own brain and trying to figure out things themselves and get their own perspective on it yeah that's like that's what it is so I, I, i put nothing past anything especially as far as that whole thing i think technology is formed on that, on something else that we know nothing of. Sound and fury signify nothing. I feel you. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, you got to do it. I'm asking on behalf of the listeners here. Mm-hmm. Got to do it. Can you, uh, can you give us uh, off the dome, uh, off the dome bar, uh, UFOs, extraterrestrials, anything like that? Oh, man. How you feel? How you I, feel? I, How you... Opinion versus fact, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This versus that. We're, we're buzzed. We're buzz. We're try. We're we're doing our best. We're trying to entertain you. Yeah. Uh, hey. And I, we we know this is not the usual. Yeah. We're, beer drink. We're, we're we're gonna get to a. I know you're uh, a man of structure. Oh gosh. I know you're a man oh, of uh, of uh, not overly um, yeah. thought out. You're impromptu a lot like me. Mm. But we'll get a game plan. Mm-hmm. We'll mix this in. They do call me. This is a true story. Mm-hmm. Uh, for many years, I was known as the less intelligent, less attractive Aaron. And I think, <laughs> I think I'm in the yearbook for that. For real? No. <laughs> How about no, obviously no. Okay, what yearbook was that? Da, 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 Yeah, don't move fast. Don't think slow. This is the shit they don't want you to know. 
The book's out. Link in bio. Bio. Link in the description the way you can get this book. And oh, I appreciate geez. you for hooking me up with the book. Oh, thank you, man. I, I is this the part it. where we get a little snap 